welcome back to my channel guys there is a giveaway going on on my channel so make sure you watch that video with the giveaway i'm giving away an iphone se because of my 1000 subscriber goal mark that i just recently made so before you finish this video go to that giveaway video to see how you can be eligible to win this iphone brand new iphone se okay so right now i am just cleaning the pumpkin taking all of the seeds out of the center the core because we don't want that part this is actually my first time making pumpkin soup you all the first time <laughs> so you know this quarantine got me experimenting which is a good thing because we're learning so we're gonna see how this turns out and i got this recipe on youtube so youtube is my university youtube university okay i'm just going to speed this clip up i'm still cleaning the core of the pumpkin taking all the seeds out of it So let's just listen to some music while I continue doing this process. All right, so I'm going to boil the pumpkin soup in this pot. So I'm just sprinkling some salt in the pot to give it some season. And while that is doing, I'm gonna cut up some garlic to throw inside this pot. You know, we love a good garlic. Garlic is good for the soul. And with this coronavirus going on, mm -hmm, we're using garlic more than ever. So I'm just cutting up some garlic I hate cutting, cutting garlic up because it always leaves a uh, stench on your hands. But it goes away, guys, so that's fine. Garlic is good for you. It has lots of health benefits. Okay, so now we're going to cut up some carrots. Because we can have pumpkin soup without carrots. So right now I'm just peeling off the the dirty flesh on the carrot i think i use one carrot in this pumpkin soup now if i was if i was making this for more than one person i would have stretched it and used more but it was only just for me so just one carrot please now i'm not cutting this pumpkin pumpkin i'm not cutting the carrots in big chunks i'm cutting them very very small Because all of it is going to boil with the, well not boil, I'm going to fry this down in a separate pan from the boiling pumpkin. And you will see that in a few. But right now this is the process of us cutting up our ingredients so that we can fry it to combine it with the boiling 
pumpkin. Okay, I decided to cut up some more garlic because I realized I needed more. I didn't put enough in there, guys. And I love garlic. Yeah, so I'm just cutting up another pluck. Is that the right way that you describe them? Anyway, another pluck of garlic to add to my pan. Okay, so I'm cutting up some onion now to go with the carrots and the garlic. All of this that I'm cutting up will be fried in a separate pan, like I said before. So you can decide what you want in your pumpkin soup. Some persons might not want onion, might not want carrots, might not want garlic, but it all depends on, on your taste and how you want to make your pumpkin soup. But I think onion, yeah, we can't, you know, not put onion in our pumpkin soup. Like, how can you not cook without onion? All right, so those are boiling water. I'm going to just rest the pumpkin inside there so that it can boil. Oh, guys, this is just my way of how I'm making my pumpkin soup. There are different ways that you can make pumpkin soup, but this is the way that I found online. That's very easy, very simple to make. Some persons, they would bake their pumpkin, but I'm going to boil mine. So this is not an engraved stone recipe. Okay, guys. So we're just going to let that boil and pause for station notification. If you love this content, don't forget to subscribe. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All right, so we have our pan and we have our oil. And we're going to fry down the carrots, the garlic, and the onion in the pan. And I just, I use olive oil as my oil of choice. All right, so our pumpkin is boiling. And I had some leftover broccoli that I decided to throw in the pan as well. Um, again, you don't have to use broccoli. This is just, I love broccoli. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. So I threw it inside there. I'm going to fry that down. And check on our pumpkin. I'm just taking a fork to see if it's done. I want to go straight in and soft. I can turn the stove off and we're ready to go. So I'll just let it sit for about five more minutes to get a little, a little softer than how it is right now. And check back with my other pan. All right, so here is how the pan is doing with the garlic, carrots, and broccoli. I'm going to get a separate pot because we're going to put the garlic, carrots, and broccoli in the pan with the pumpkin so we're boiling everything together y'all my pumpkin is mushy and squishy that's how you know it's done i want it to be as soft as possible because i do not have a blend to blend this i'm going to use my mixer to blend this together because you want it to be a little bit creamy but i don't want it to be so creamy where it's like watery creamy I wanted to have, uh, you know, you know. I want to taste my pumpkin. I want to be able to just chew on a little piece of it, you know, just chunks of it. But we're still going to blend this all together after we boil it for a few minutes. So it's looking good in the neighborhood. And I'm going to add some milk to this. You don't have to add milk again. But I'm going to add some soy milk after I let it boil for a few minutes. And that's how it look with the milk mixed in it. Make sure you season it too, guys. I use some... What is that? Red pepper? That's what you see inside the pot right there. To season it. Let's 
just gonna that this smells so good guys i promise you and now we're going to let this boil and then we're going to mix it in the mixer this is where it gets dangerous y'all so make sure you have your apron on all right i use the mixture to mix it and this is how it looks do you see how thick that looks this is what we just got at the part you guys Make sure you blend it though, guys. I would not suggest mixing it because this caused a whole heap of mess on me, on my machine. Yeah, so use a blender. My blender's not here. It's my mom's house, so I had to mix it with my mixer. And that's how it looks. I'm just going to pour it into a smaller pot. And we gotta make sure we get all of that out there because we cannot waste this, buddy. Pumpkin soup is where it's at. So we're gonna pour all of that inside the pan. And we are so done. We've made our pumpkin soup for the first time. I am so super duper proud of myself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, guys. And so can you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And don't you doubt yourself either. And I'm tasting it and it tastes so good. I wish I could give you guys some so you could taste it so you could see that, you know, it's not true when they say fishmen don't say their fish stinks because my fish tastes good. And that's my pumpkin soup right there. You can see that there's the, the broccoli mashed up in there as well. But this was, this was a really good video. I really enjoyed making this pumpkin soup. And that's why I say I don't want it to be too creamy. As you can still see, there's some chunks that you can chew on a bit, you know. So it doesn't taste like creamy beets. So that's it there, my pumpkin soup. I'm so proud of myself, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to participate in the, participate in the video. I'm getting tongue closer, guys. Bye. Subscribe.